Good day to each and everyone. I hope that you're all feeling okay. So our lesson for today is all about rational numbers. But before that, let's first read our learning objectives. At the end of the discussion, 90% of the B Ed 2 students will be able to acquire in-depth knowledge of solving application numbers. Second, solve application problems on rational numbers, specifically work problems. And third, develop patience in solving the word problems. We'll first do the application problem. So in the preceding lessons, you have performed operations on rational numbers and solve rational equations, right? Now, we are going to solve application problems. First problem. Example, Teresa recorded the total rainfall for seven days. It rained cm or centimeter on Monday and also on Tuesday and on Thursday. What was the total rainfall for three days? Solution, the problem asks for the total rainfall. This means we must add. We will simply add gas. Okay, for Monday, given is 1 and 1 third. Tuesday, 1 and 2 fifth. Thursday is 1 and 2 third. Okay, we'll find the x or the total rainfall. So first, we will change the mixed number to improper fraction. So how can we do it? We will simply multiply the denominator from the mixed number. So 3, the first given, 3 times 1 is 3, right? Plus 1 is plus 4. Then copy the denominator. Then the second one, 5 times 1 is plus 5. Plus 2 equals 7. So copy the denominator is 5. So third one, 3 times 1 equals 3. And simply add 2 is 5. They copy the denominator. So we will first multiply the LCD. So the LCD of this denominator is 15. So simply multiply the LCD to the numerator. Okay? Numerator. So 15 times 4 equals 60. Copy the denominator. And 15 times 7, copy the denominator. So it is 1 over 5, right? Then 15 times 5 is 75. Then copy the denominator so our equals 15 so it is the lcd right and simply 60 divide 3 simply divide 60 divide 3 is 20 and 105 divide 5 is 21 then 75 divide 3 is 25 so equals copy the 15 with the x so it is the LCD. So the X is the answer. The answer from the three. From the number of three. So 20 plus 21 plus 25 equals 66. So simply copy the uh, LCD. We will make it our denominator. Then the answer is 4. Simply we will turn it into mixed number. So 4. The answer is 4 and 2 fifth. So, we will turn it into an improper fraction. So, the answer is 22 over 5th. Right? Because 5 times 4 is 20. And you simply add 2, 22. And you copy the denominator is 5. So, therefore, the total rainfall for 3 days was 4 and 2 fifth centimeter. Okay? You get it, class? Okay. So, this time, we will solve us application problems, specifically work problems. So work problems, so what is work problems? These are problems involving different people doing the same work but at different rates. So the formula is 1 over T1. So the T over here is the time. Plus simply add 1 over T2 equals 1 over T3. Okay? So... T1 is the time taken by the first person. Then T2 is taken by the second person. T3 is the time taken by both person. So, din siya ang third person, but both person. So, kagi-add mo na to siya. Okay. We can extend this formula for problems involving more than two persons. We can also use this formula in five problems. Okay? Gets? So, T is for time.
so let's proceed so as you can see the formula is in fraction form since it is the ratio of one work to the time taken by a person to do the work so again our formula as presented in the previous slide is 1 over t1 plus 1 over t2 is equals to 1 over t3. So in solving word problems, let us follow these steps. Step 1 is we need to assign variables. Step 2, we need to use the formula. And step 3, solve the equation. So to better understand, let's use this formula to solve the following word problems. So problem number 1. Peter can clean the backyard in 40 minutes, while Giselle can do the job in 60 minutes. How long will it take Peter and Giselle to clean the backyard together? So what we are going to do is, we are going to apply the three steps in solving word problems. So step 1, let x be the time it takes so step one let x be the time it takes for peter and giselle to clean the house together so step two using the formula one over t1 plus one over t2 equals one over t3 where t1 is equals to 40 and t2 is equals to 60 and t3 is equals to x And now we have 1 over 40 plus 1 over 60 is equals to 1x. Step 3. So first, we have to find the LCD. So in this case, the LCD is 120x. So we need to multiply both sides by the LCD, which is 120x. So 120x multiplied by... 140 is equals to 120x over 40. 120x multipli multiplied by 1, 1 over 60 is equals to 120x over 60. And 120x multiplied by 1, 1x is equals to 120x over x. So 120x divided by 40 is equals to 3x. 120x divided by 60 is equals to 2x and 120x divided by x is equals to 120 so we need to cross out the x so 3x so now we have 3x plus 2x equals 120 so 3x plus 2x equals 5x so then bring down or we'll copy 120 so 5x equals 120 so now we have to divide 5 on both sides. So 5x divided by 5 is equals to x. So we need to cross out 5 equals 120 divided by 5 equals 24. So therefore, it will take 24 hours for Peter and Giselle to clean the house together. Problem number two, working together, Rian and Jim can map a building in four hours. Had she done it alone, it would take, it would have taken Rian seven hours. How many hours would Rian finish the work alone? The solution, so let X be the time Rian would finish the work. So using the same formula, we have one over seven plus one over X equals one fourth. So now we have 1 7 plus 1 over x equals 1 fourth. So again we multiply. So again we multiply both sides by our by our LCD. So 28x multiplied by 1 over 7 is 28x over 7. 28x multiplied by 1 over x is 28x over x. 28x multiplied by 1 over over uh, 28x multiplied by 1 fourth is 28x over 4. 
So now we have 28x over 7 plus 28x over x equals 28x over 4. So, 28, so now we are going to divide or we are going to use division. So 28x divided by 7 is 4x. 28x divided by x is 28. So cross out x. So 28x divided by 4 is 7x. So now we have 4x plus 28 equals 7x. So now we need to transpose. So now we have 4x minus 7x equals negative 28. So So now we are going to multiply negative 1 on both sides in order to come up with a positive outcome or answer. Okay, we'll amantay negative over. So now we multiply negative 1. So negative 1 times negative 3x is positive 3x. Negative 1 multiplied by negative 28 is positive 28. So, so, to separate, so now we have 3x equals 28 so to separate 3 so to separate 3 from the x let's divide both sides by 3 so we have 3x 3x divided by 3 equals x so cross out the 3 so we have x is equals to 28 over 3 or 9 and 1 third therefore rents will will take 9 and 1 third hours to map the building. So let's proceed to problem number 3. So Fran can finish painting the garage in 2.5 hours. Lance consumes 4 hours to do the job. But it takes Angie 5 hours to do the same job. Working together, how many hours does it take them to finish the job? So here's the solution. So first is, the first thing we do, we do is to assign variables. So let t be the time it takes for Fran, Lance, and Angie to do the job. In step two, since this problem involves three people, unlike the previous problems, so nga nag involve so we will so now we will extend the formula so here's the formula 1 over t1 plus 1 over t2 plus 1 over t3 equals 1 over t4 so now we will solve the equation using the formula so 1 over 2.5 plus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 5 equals 1 over t. So we, in step 3, we will find the LCD. The LCD is 20t. So next is we will multiply both sides of the equation by the LCD which is 20t. So we will apply the distributive property of multiplication. So 20t times 1 is 20t divided by over 2.5. Then 20t times 1 is 20t, 20t over 4. And then 20t times 1 is 20t over 5. Then 1 times 20t is 20t. Then copy the denominator which is t. The next thing we do is to divide 20t divided by 2.5 is 8t. Then 20t divided by 4 is 5t. Then 20t divided by 5 is 4t. Then 20t divided by t is 20. So Next is, we will add 8t plus 5t is 13t. 13t plus 4t is 17t. So, equals 20. So, 
t equals 20 over 17. So 20 divided by 17 is 1, oh, 1 and 3, 17. So therefore, it would take 1 and 3, 17 hours for Fran, Lance, and Angie to clean the garage together. So we will proceed now to problem number 4. A swimming pool can be filled by pipe A in 4 hours and pipe B takes 6 hours to sew. When the tank is full, it can be drained by pipe C in 5 hours. So how many hours will it take to fill up the swimming pool if all three pipes are open? So take note that the swimming pool is empty. So here's the solution. So step one, let x be the time taken to fill the tank. So step two, we will use the formula. 1 over 4 plus 1 over 6 minus 1 over 5 equals 1 over, six, 1 over x. So 1 and 4, money siya ang sa pipe A for hours, then 6 is the pipe B and 5 is a pipe C. Step 3, we will find the LCD. So the LCD is 60x. So now we will solve the equation using the formula. So again, we will multiply both sides of the equation by the LCD which is 60x. So we will use the distributive property of multiplication. 60x times 1 is 60x over 4. 60x times 1 is 60x over 6. 60x times negative 1 is negative 60x then over 5. 1 times 60x is 60x then copy the denominator x. The next thing is we will divide 60x divided by 4 is 15x. 60x divided by 6 is 10x. Negative 60x divided by 5 is negative 12x. Then 60x divided by x is 60. So, makancel ang mga x. So, now we will add 15x plus 10x is 25x. 25x minus 12x is 13x equals 60. So, x equals 60 over 13. Or, in mixed fraction, it is 4 and 8, 13 hours. So, therefore, it takes 4 and 8, 13 hours to fill the tank. So, that's, that would be all. Thank you so much for listening.